So now to actually be able to follow a user, we'll go to Handle, Follow User. And first of all, we'll begin by setting state, setting is following to true to change our button's appearance from follow to unfollow. Now, we'll do as we mentioned. We want to make the auth user follower of another user and update their followers collection. So we're going to make a ref in home.dart as we always do. First for the followers ref referencing our followers collection plural and then a following ref singular referencing a new following collection. So heading back to profile, we're going to take the followers ref and take the other user's document reference to their ID from widget.profileid.collection user followers and we're going to add ourselves, the currently authenticated user, as a follower by using document current user ID and then just calling set data to put an empty map on that document ID. And then the next step, we want to add the other user as part of our following to indicate that we're following them. So put that user on your following collection update your following collection linked to your ID. So that will be following ref dot document current user ID and the collection user following the document of their ID widget dot profile ID and again we'll set data as an empty map. And then finally, since we, the current user, are following someone else, we want to send them an activity feed notification. So we want to add activity feed item for that user to notify about new follower, us. So we'll take the activity feed ref, the document of their ID, profile dot widget dot profile ID, the collection feed items, the document current user ID. So every user is going to get a unique notification about who's following them because all these IDs will be different. And then we want to set data on it, provide a map with first of all as we're familiar, the type, which in this case will be follow, the owner ID to widget.profile ID, username set to current user.username, user ID set to current user ID, user profile image to get our image from current user dot photo URL and finally the timestamp of when this took place. And now we can take all of this, take all of the body of handle follow user and provide that to handle unfollow user and just do the opposite. So here at the beginning we're gonna set is following to false if we're unfollowing a user. We will remove the follower. So we can say at the end delete or we could also add a get and chain on then get the document and only if the document exists do we delete with doc.ref reference.delete then we want to remove following 
remove their ID from our user following collection. So we can just copy those lines above. And then we can delete the activity feed item for them. So now let's test this out. We'll do a hot restart after saving and we'll open up Firestore. As we perform this operation, we'll find another user and attempt to follow them. So let's select follow. See it turns to our unfollow button. And if we refresh, we see our two new collections, followers and followings. So that's good. For followers, we've linked to their user ID, and for user followers, we've added our own ID, so these should be different, and they are, and for following, it should basically be the opposite. It should link to our, the current user's ID, and for user following, should add their ID to it, and that should also be different. So that's good, and now if we unfollow, we should see both of those documents removed, and they are. So now, of course, we want to get the state when we load a user's profile. We want to turn is following to the appropriate value, not just to false every time. So we want it to remember whether we followed a user before. And additionally, we also want to get the followers and following count displayed in our header. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to create three new functions that we're going to all call within init state. And they are get followers, get following, and check if following. So for these first two, get the follower count, get the following count, and check if we're already following a user, in which case we'll update that state value, as well as update our UI to reflect that state. So first of all, check if following. This is going to be very simple. We can make a simple request for this and we'll resolve the future here. So we'll make this async. We're going to await followers ref dot document. We'll select widget dot profile ID, the ID associated with the profile that we're on, the collection user followers, then our ID. Basically, we're going to see if we exist as a follower of them. We're going to get that value and we'll put the results in a doc variable type document snapshot. And all we have to do is update state, update our is following boolean by setting it to doc.exists. So to test that out, let's follow a given user and navigate away and find them again. We might need to do a hot restart. And we need to fix these functions that I haven't created yet. But good. Check if following is working. We see since we followed them, we ha now have our unfollow button, so that state is being remembered. Now get followers and get following are for getting our count, so for get followers, we'll resolve this future as well, and we'll await followers ref dot document widget dot profile ID collection user followers, we just want to get all of the IDs on this collection. So we'll call get documents, put the result in a snapshot of type query snapshot. And we're going to set state. And we're going to update state with a new value, another integer called follower count, which will be initially set to zero. And we're also going to make a following count. 
So follower count from get followers will be set to just the length of documents, the length of the array, the length of the list that we get back from snapshot dot documents dot length. And then we need to pass our follower count to where we're executing build count column for that followers label. So we'll pass in follower count and jump ahead and pass into the following column the following count. Now finally we're going to take care of get following We'll make this a sync and await following ref document widget dot profile ID. We want to get there the profile users following numbers, the collection user following, and again get documents. We'll create another snapshot variable to store that data and we'll call set state at the end updating following count to snapshots.documents.length so let's save and check out what we have I'll restart again and for ourselves we see we're following one user we don't have any followers no one's decided to follow us and if we go to the other user who we're following, we see they have one follower. So now we have total ability to follow or unfollow users, and now we're going to use that data, that follower and following data, to create our timeline feed to get a timeline of all of the posts of users that they're following.